Hey guys. So I wanted to do like a quick video um, because I get requests about detangling and shedding quite often and um, I'm going to be washing my hair, my hair within the next like three days and so I wanted to make the video um, before I wash my hair. So I get a lot of people asking me, one, how much hair do I shed? Okay, I wash my hair once a month and it's usually in a stretched protective style. So when I show you guys this, this is one month's worth of shed hair. So this is one month's worth of shed hair for me. And when I wash my hair, I'll probably just get like a, a little pile to add to this. So it's really not that much hair. Like if I make it compact, you can see like that's that's how much hair that I got from last night. And um, basically what I do, how I detangle my hair is um, I just go section by section. So this is an old twist out that I did. And when I'm taking the twists down, actually let me start in the back. When I'm taking the twist down, first I pull like that. Anything that's gonna come out um, easily is gonna come out when I pull like that. And then what I have to do is I have to fill at the roots and fill for those shed hairs because they're going to be stuck in here. And usually, like most natural hair, um, the shed hair does not come out. And so for me, I get like one shed hair that tangles a whole bunch of other hairs. And then I have to sit here and just go like this. And just work all the way down and I do it really gently so that I don't break my hair and see a whole bunch just came out so I'm gonna show you guys again I just go through and I just fill anything that feels tangled I stop and then I fill at the top and then if there's a knot then I have to sit here and work on the knot. I usually spend two hours doing this the day before I wash my hair. And um, I've never had a knot that I couldn't get out. Um, I just try to stay patient. I had a really bad knot last night. I was really surprised because it was like a huge knot. And then, like I said, it was just one piece of shed hair that just wrapped into everything. And so let me show you guys one up here. And you, you can feel it when this, the shed hair is like still in there because you won't be able to like run your hands through it. So it's not gonna be as bad right now. See how that's getting stuck? There's some shed hair in there. So then I just look really closely and I see there's like seven hairs that are all tied to one knot. And I pull each hair, each one, just like that. And then I'm left with one hair and then the shed hair is right there. I don't have to break my hair off. Um, I don't have to do anything, you know, strenuous to my hair. It's just really time consuming. And I don't have to do it every month. Like if I'm gonna do like a twist out or some kind of stretch style that requires my hair to be detangled thoroughly, then I will sit there and take the time to do it before wash day. Um, if I was just doing like a wash and go or just something simple, sometimes I don't detangle. Earlier this year, I went like three or four months <laughs> without doing it. And then um, whenever I was doing a wash and go, I, I pulled up my hair right here and I had, I had like a huge clump of shed hair just tangling everything and I was like oh my god oh my god <laughs> I don't I usually don't put any oils or anything additional in my hair while I'm detangling it and so that that is you know pretty much my routine I can't say that I do anything that's really complicated um pretty much everything I do I try to keep it simple because like I said if I get frustrated I'm just gonna wind up pulling my hair so I wanted to make this video because I do get the question a lot and I just wanted to show you guys and um, I hope that you know the way I explained it made sense like I said I just start at the top I start separating the hair and right now it's not as uh, 
is not as tangled because I obviously did it last night. But you know, the hair will come out on its own, usually. 